Dad is a really nice illustrator of this So right from the get-go, you're introduced to a really friendly personality of the phone. That was really important to us. Uh, we're initially targeted emerging markets. So, and by the way, you've got the two, desi two lead designers here on the two, the two booths. So for Patrick and I, the imperative was to maintain the, the fun and the brand and the friendliness of the brand and make an experience that is first and foremost easy to use and empowering. So right and now, first thing you see is a really like, friendly, like non-hostile, uh, easy to use uh, plank landing screen. Someone can put the picture of their loved ones in there. We've got a dock of standard applications in the bottom, from phone to FM radio, which is very big in emerging markets, to SMS, to Firefox, the browser. I can just swipe right to the right, and here's where all my applications are. So the phone comes preloaded with a full suite of first-party preloaded applications for everything from marketplace, a bunch of applications, email, calendar, gallery, camera, music, calculator, phone, uh, Nokia Maps settings, a full suite of really awesome applications. And the important thing to note here is everything you're seeing is built in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It is all 100% in the native language of the web. A year ago, people didn't think that was possible. And then a year ago, we showed a prototype. People were like, oh my god, it was performant. But now we're able to show an honest to god, full blown dialer built out of JavaScript. So, what enables this is Mozilla is a non profit organization, we're totally open source. What we did a year and a half ago was say that we want the web to be able to do what Android and iOS can do. We want the web to be able to make a phone call. The web should be able to make us send an SMS message. So we've created a set of APIs that are totally open for anyone to use, anyone from iOS Android, including us. And we've built a whole offering system around those APIs. So now what it means is I can use, I've got an HTML site here, styled with CSS and hooked up with JavaScript. And it's actually able to access these APIs supported by Gecko, our web render engine in the back end to actually connect a phone like call to someone else in the world. I think right it here. seems like yeah. a simple thing, but it's really revolutionary for the mobile web. And then, uh, this enables a full suite of powerful applications, like all the music, all standard applications you, you expect from a smartphone. Videos, so for example, we've got contacts the, uh, here, and out of the gate, we've worked with Facebook to integrate yeah. Facebook. So right here, I can actually pull in my uh, Facebook yeah. contacts, post to their walls, uh, send them messages, uh, view their profiles directly from my contacts. So we've integrated contacts with social networks. So. If I go back, we've also got a really great SMS client. It's amazing. Yeah. And one thing I want to point out is performance. So you're looking at a 1 gigahertz, 256 megabyte device, entry-level hardware, very affordable. That was a very intentional choice on our part. And what we've worked exquisitely hard on is making it performant. So we're continuing to optimize, but you're seeing a fairly uh, a very recent build of a device. And I want to point out how smooth the scrolling is, uh, how great the load times are, the fact that I can actually go in, take a picture of the Apple Tower, and uh, most of our dev team is in Paris, this, so a lot of our photos are from Paris. Back the office, um, I and I can actually prop this guy. So it's a good standby mode. I can just do a quick prop action here. Maybe I want to make it black and white. Constantly while you know you're off. Or maybe like a sepia. And the FM radio. I can save that, uh, and then uh, boom, market, my modifications are available media, really fast. And, and I can just swipe uh, to my photos here. Got give us a lot of market research pinch and zoom if I want to pinch in and zoom around. Again, really easy to use, very high performance, and totally built on the open web. So another example here is camera. I mean, the fact that we've got a camera, again, HTML, you got a div, you got CSS styling, and then actually JavaScript and UP API is letting me take a picture. So because it's the web, we've got a couple of the tricks up our sleeve. One is, on iOS, if you want to use an application, you've got to install the application. That's not how the web works. The web's got a couple of new tricks. But on our platform, you can use the application, then if you like it, then install it. So I'm going to swipe to the left-hand side here. And right within the home screen, we've got integrated discovery. So if you want to find new applications, you swipe to the left, and we've got thousands of applications divided into nice, tidy categories. Games, local, news. And I can tap on any one of these. That's why I'm scanning it. And let's say I want to try Tetris. Like, I'm going to do this one because it's simple, quick to load. So it's going to load quickly for me. And right away, I can play Tetris. It's very web-like in that way. It's an application, but it was delivered instantly, not without having to install it. And I can begin to play Tetris here, a little, a little simple web HTML5 version of Tetris. And then if I like it, I can choose to install it. And so I've already done that on this demo device. I've actually taken that site and actually that web app and actually installed it as Tetris. Really, really, really easy to do. So that's integrated app discovery. Think of it more like Netflix, like streaming applications. But that, so right now it's on our home screen, but that means I can send you an email at the URL, points to a server, and that server lives where that's an app. 
It's going to say, do you want to launch this application? Yes or no? You launch, you get it right away. So that's a very powerful concept. And it's about, really, the whole project. You hear the slogan, but it really is about unleashing the web. The web is amazing. The web can do amazing things. The only thing the web couldn't do until recently was telephony, SMS, vibration, etc. Now the web can do it. So the future of mobile doesn't have to be iOS versus Android, it can be open. Imagine if 12 years ago, the web had been CompuServe or AOL. It wouldn't have been a very interesting web up until now. It would have limited a lot of creativity. With this, and Mozilla's goal, again, a non-profit, is to just build really cool stuff and then give it away. And then let developers, OEMs, carriers build amazing things we can't begin to imagine. So this is just the start for us. You know, our design team is also doing some amazing stuff, really unprecedented stuff. And we also want to let our partners and applications developers do the same thing. So today, you can go to GitHub, download our repo, and begin to hack on it. On DevGaia, we've got people posting upgrades and add-ons to our keyboard, for example. So people are already doing really cool hacks of this stuff, and that's our goal, is for people to hack and to extend and do cool stuff with this. That's the best outcome for us. So in addition, we've also got, uh, again, it's, it's, it's really funny for emerging markets. So as an example of how hackable it is, in this case, we work for Telefonica. So Telefonica's got a big footprint in South America, and they wanted to make affordability uh, really important on this device. So we worked with Telefonica to actually build an integrated cost control widget. So what this lets me do as a user is say, I want to spend this much per month, you warn me when I go beyond that. I can tap so on that widget, Firefox, and it's going to take works. me into a full-blown application, which Telefonica designed and built, and, uh, really easy to do, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all over web technologies. So, so and web using this, I can actually track my data. This was yes. flashed last night. So, like, for instance, so imagine if it was right? over a month, you'd see a nice bar chart moving up and down during my data consumption. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Anyone can do what Telefonica did. Anyone can do what we did. So that really is a message here. Click on this person. And again, all on a really performant, now a very powerful platform. Again, and one gigahertz, two point six megabyte device right now. The screen sizes yeah, will get bigger, that, the processes uh, will get faster. But right uh, out of the gate, right from the get-go, we're high performance and secure. Yeah, Nokia yeah. maps or right. here maps.